two swans frolic under the morning light along a Toronto waterway. But they're not the only majestic creatures in attendance as two bald eagles survey the area from their new home. It's incredible. It, there's, no, there's no words to describe it. I mean, it's just absolutely mind-blowing. Jules McCusker spotted the two birds of prey in December. Well, the first thing I thought was that it wasn't possible. Impossible because nobody's seen a nest in the city. While it's not abnormal to spot one of the iconic birds, the Toronto and Region Conservation Authority confirming to CBC News that this is the first documented bald eagle nest in Toronto. The eagles have landed. Duke Redbird, a good friend of McCusker, says... The eagle's nest is a good omen. It's a very sacred uh, bird to us and represents so many good things. Uh, uh, honor, honesty, charity, life, uh, and, and all the things that are good. And it's not just the cultural significance or importance to Indigenous communities. Scientists say a bald eagle nest in Toronto bodes well for the region's biodiversity. The bald eagle wasn't historically doing very well. It wasn't endangered for a long time. John Sparrow with the Toronto Zoo says this was largely due to the hunting of eagles in the 1900s and pervasive use of an insecticide called DDT that harmed local ecosystems and caused eagle eggs to crack under any weight. And DDT was banned in the 70s in North America and we did see a drastic increase with other conservation efforts. They were at the brink of extinction at that time. This expert says the bald eagle population reached a low point in the late 1960s, when just a few hundred breeding pairs were left before those regulations took effect. They are exploring new areas that they haven't explore, explored in a while and they're nesting there. Drescher says climate change is also playing a role in the return as water bodies abundant in fish, a typical eagle prey, have less ice. The TRCA adding, bald eagles have a low tolerance to contaminants, the nest suggesting that Toronto's aquatic ecosystem continues to improve. We have to remember to, to respect that nest. Uh, they can be very sensitive at this time, especially the first three months. They're very critical when they're nest building, when they're laying eggs, and they're raising really small chicks. Sparrow says any major disturbance can cause them to abandon that nest. I hope others share the sentiment of wanting to see these uh, eagles thrive and make a home, like a long-term home. A caution to Torontonians to let the birds be. Let's hope that the little eaglets that uh, are hatched this year as a result uh, will will just uh, spread their joy around, around Toronto. Patrick Swadden, CBC News, Toronto.